Hello everyone. Welcome back to our couch video. Oh yes. V video. Video. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about Universal a little bit. So a while ago we talked about the five most overrated things in Walt Disney World. Today we're going to turn that on Universal and we're going to tell you the five most overrated things about their parks. This does include uh, Universal Studios and Island of Adventure. So you've been warned. Number one is the entire Simpsons area. Yes. Specifically the ride, but the area in general. Yeah. Uh, there's a few things about it, so we'll go through them quickly. Number one, the ride just makes you so friggin' sick that it's <laughs> awful. Um, I mean, we literally were like closing our eyes trying to be like, when is this gonna be over? It was. It's like four minutes too long. It's just, if you have any sort of motion sickness, you can't do it. It's so bad. Yeah. Uh, and on top of that, I just feel like there's so much space that is wasted. There's nothing really going on there, and the food is not great. We stopped there during Halloween Horror Nights to grab a quick bite to eat, and it was basically paying like $10 for a hot dog. It was, the, yeah. the salad was gross, the, everything. So just, I don't know, not, not worth your time. Number two, this will be shocking to many people, but Voodoo Donut. So, we tried it, really expected to love it, and it was kind of just bland. Especially in Providence, we have a lot of good artisanal donut shops. We have PVD Donut, which we've talked about a few times. We have Need, which I believe we talked about once or twice. And these are just far superior donuts to any I've ever had, so Voodoo Donut was a lot of a letdown. I got the actual Voodoo Donut, the pretzel in it was kind of stale, it was just not the best. Number three is kind of related to number one, and that's just motion simulators in general. I feel like they're way overused, even in the Harry Potter rides, um, the the Simpsons ride, the Minions. Minions. I'm pretty sure Fast and Furious, but I'm not positive yeah. about that. Um, Could you lump Transformers and Spider-Man in there? I know that it's moving cars with sets, but... Yeah, Spider-Man, I don't know. There's just a lot of like video screens and movement um, and it just, I don't know. I feel like there's more excitement about an actual physical set or some sort of yeah. a ride. Like, talk about Men in Black. Such a simple concept, but it's so much fun. Right, no 3D glasses. It wouldn't be as cool if you were just shooting at screens. Yeah. I feel like the only exception is it, Toy Story Mania in Disney. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like that I'm one, gonna puke on that. Yeah, because it's not, you're not like moving and looking at a screen and it, it's just too much. I agree. So they, they just overuse them is what we're saying. Hence my excited for the new Jurassic World roller coaster. Please be Velocicoaster. Number four, City Walk. It's boring. I don't feel like I need to walk through City Walk to get to Universal. It just feels like a waste of time to me. I'm not gonna go into any stores. I don't really care about Margaritaville. I know some people do. I just don't. Like, yeah, Breadbox was a huge win for us. Check out that video somewhere around here. But I don't know. It's not like I have to walk through Disney Springs to get to Magic Kingdom. So I just feel like it's kind of a waste. Give me another entrance in. Yeah, and like Evan said, the restaurants are just, they're just not that great. And number five, our last overrated thing and these are in no order by the way yeah they're all i think equally overrated we did it to keep us in line here this would be the three broomsticks mm. we ate lunch dinner like a late afternoon food meal <laughs> <laughs> that's what we call it in COVID times yeah and it was not good the yeah corn was cold the chicken i wasn't feeling good about eating it it kind of had like a pinkish reddish yuck vibe on the <laughs> inside <laughs> yeah. um and it, like if anyone has seen um the twilight movies it reminded me of bella when she eats the chicken and thinks that it was bad chicken but actually she was pregnant but you know it was gross and that's kind of what it looked like was that like more like raw, like undercooked i don't know um, and the potatoes were like, I don't know, just everything was not that great. And even the beer. Yeah, I think it's the, the Hogshead beer or something like that. I don't know what it actually is. It just, it was, it wasn't warm, but it wasn't cold. But it honestly just tasted like Newcastle. 
So, like, it, it's not a bad beer, but it's not, oh my god, greatest thing I've ever had. Like, if you're getting something to drink, it better be butter beer. Exactly. So, it, I don't know. It just seems skippable. I think that the um, Leaky Cauldron is better. They have better offerings. And yeah. I, I don't know. I guess, like, in general, the food at Universal, I wouldn't say it's overrated because most people don't talk about it. I'd say it's more lot. just bland and yeah. samey. Exactly. That's why we put three broomsticks specifically because people kind of hype it up as one of the better offerings at Universal, yeah. whereas everything else is just kind of meh. But I think that that's also equally as meh. So. I agree. Like, I would love to see Universal step up their food game, but we'll see. So that's all. We're sorry if we stepped on your toes a little bit. <laughs> Let us know if one of these things is like your absolute favorite thing in the world, or if there's other things that are overrated that maybe we wouldn't agree with entirely. Everyone's mm. entitled to their own opinion, so keep it friendly. <laughs> also, bring back to the Back to the Future. Just make that whole area Back to the Future and Simpsons. <laughs> Get rid of it. Yeah. But so, <laughs> here we are. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you hated our suggestions, give us a thumbs up anyway. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified. And please follow us on Instagram, at Home Away From Disney. Notified of what? When these videos come out, silly. Well, you didn't say anything. You just, to be notified. Yeah, you're notified. You're on notice. Instagram, at Home Away From Disney. Find us at Twitter, at H-A-F-D official. We're at Twitter. We're just... We're there. We're at it. <laughs> We're at the pinnacle of Twitter. Evan does words well. Mm. Good. Goodly. I, I goodly do words. Yeah. He can English. It's weird I have an English degree, so... <laughs> believe that for a second. Neither do I, so thanks for dropping by. Bye. Bye.